Hi, my name is Jack Hodgins. Welcome back to my channel. We've got two products, two products I brought today. I've got my, my cloud drive, four terabytes. That's four terabytes installed. This is just an empty shell casing. Um, it's my cloud X2 Ultra, which holds two drives in there, but obviously it comes no drives installed. But I really got two discs to go in here anyway. They're both network accessible. Um, this has USB 3, two ports on the back, so you can daisy chain a few of these together itself. Uh, this has e built in Ethernet, so it's this one here as well. So, this one's more temporary solution because I'm running out of this space, and this is one to take to my two other four terabyte drives and put it into one enclosure and create a mirror disk so we've got some redundancy on this. Because obviously, with my other one of these, if a drive fails, it's all my data gone, so I need to make some sort of redundancy built in now going forward. And eventually, we'll build this up to a bigger drive system, we'll do reviews on that a little bit later. Um, but the moment why money's a bit tight, this is the ideal solution that I need for the moment. So let's, let's um, open this box and have a look inside. Right, so this is the MyCloud Drive 4 terabytes edition. So let's open the box up and we'll take a look what's inside. So what do you get for your money? These are about £134 for a 4 terabyte version from Maplins itself or various other places depending on price and stuff. So inside the box we've got One network cable. So one one Ethernet cable. We've got one power supply, and then you got like a US uh, UK. Um, wait a second. You got the U UK plug adapter. And you also got um, the US one as well, which we're not going to use because we're not we're not in the in our country at the moment. And then we just literally clip this on, which should just go down like so, nice and easy. So one power cable, and then we get the drive itself out. The, it's like a little book. <laughs> it's quite cool. So let's take this down. Um, big, it's nice, shiny. Really cool. This has got a nice, like, rubbery feet on the bottom there. Um, serial details at the bottom there. On the back, we've got USB 2. Um, no USB 3 on the back. And we've got an Ethernet port as well. And I think this allows you to daisy chain this one to another as well. And that's it really. So straight these are straightforward. No complicated setups, so just got a little card here that basically says to you once you um plug it into the wall, plug it into your main router or your switch, and it's powered on, and once it's booted up then you go to this address on a on a web browser and then you can start configuring your data. Simple and easy as that. Um because my last one I brought this came with about your manual, but no, just straightforward and that's how easy it is to access these drives now. So no real technical experience required. So there's that one. So we'll leave that to one side for seconds. Now this is the uh, MyCloud X EX2 Ultra. So this is the twin drive. Again, it has no hard drives. In it, so, so you'll need to purchase two hard drives. And what do we get in this big toolbox here? Got a big box on the side here. So this is this one's about a little bit more expensive. It's not much dearer than this one, it's about £158 but again it has no hard drives in. So we've got one power cable for the UK, one power cable for, for another country, US and stuff, and then we've got some instruction booklet, then we've got some screws and stuff like that, so that, I think that's for getting the drives blades in and out. We've got an Ethernet cable, And then we got the, it looks like the power pack, so we're getting out of the box. Bit more, bit of a brick, really. So a power pack as well. And then inside this box, we've got the main drive, which is a very empty case. So that back in the box.
bit more chunkier than the first one. <laughs> Getting this packaging off. There we go. Get rid of that. Again, it's got nice little rubbery feet on the bottom there, and on the back you've got two um, USB 3 ports for um, linking these together. Daisy chaining, Ethernet port, and your power socket. So it's very easy in the back. Again, these are very easy. It self explains. Uh, then on the top you've got a button you can push in and I think slide back. Oh no, lifts up. Um, and then inside you've got your drive bay here. Oh, there you go, it's lifts down. There goes lifts down. And then you can turn that. It's a little, little thing you can unscrew. Oh, do it from the top there. Okay, not now. Get this up. Yeah, so you undo this little screw at the top here. Comes completely off. That's what secures the hard drives in there. Then you just slide your hard drive straight down in there. So you got drive one, drive two. Uh, then you can then just put your plate back on there. Oh, put it back on there. But then secures the drive in place so they don't fall out. And then you put top down. Job done. Again, just power it on, plug it into your network or where you root or you switch. Again, the same to instructions as the first one. Um, power on, plug it in, plug it into your router, power it on, and then go to setup, and away it goes. Nice and easy that way. You can configure these. Um, these both drives. <laughs> you can see them side by side. So you can see how much chunkiness. That has four terabytes. This will hold two. Um, two lots of four. Uh, I'm not sure what size you can hold, whether it's limited to four, you may be able to do two eight gig eight terabyte drives in there or two four terabyte drives in there. Uh, and you can have them mirrored up for no redundancy. So that's basically it for the unboxing side. So we'll probably um put another video together on showing the configuration. So I'm gonna clear my drives off here and then we're gonna get mounted into here and then we'll do like a, a an online guide setup of actually how you can do that. So they have it. Nothing really exciting. Unboxing of the My Cloud Drive four terabytes and the My Cloud EX two Ultra um, driverless. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get the drives in there. We will do a configuration video of how you can configure these, and I'll do a video on one, on this. How, what settings to choose? What's the best sort of recommendation to use? And because then I've got two of these, we can then link them together to see what options it's got on doing mirror solutions and um, how easy it is and things like that. And whether there's whether the one one URL you go to can actually see all all that on one place as well, rather than a separate different URL addresses to try and contact the box. That'd be just to find out. So check out on my next videos. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers and uh, see you soon. Cheers.